Anecdote 1. I thought I'd tell you a short story about Roy during the war years in England when we were both very young and life was full of excitement and dangers. As most of you probably know, Roy spent the first part of his working life in the Royal Air Force and during the war he was a fighter pilot flying Spitfires and Hurricanes. During the Battle of Britain, he battled daily with the German bombers and their fighter planes to prevent them dropping bombs, their bombs on London. I was living in the countryside of Kent, just outside London, and would watch the battles in the air between the RAF and the German bombers. Great dogfights took place overhead as our little Spitfires harassed the German pilots and chased them back across the English Channel, but not before many were shot down. On one of these occasions, Roy, on coming out of an encounter with a German pilot, noticed blue smoke slowly filling the cockpit. He knew at once that he would have to take action and got ready to bail out. He told me that he was half in and half out of the cockpit with one leg dangling over the side of his plane when a final look back told him the blue smoke was becoming less. So he decided to pull his leg back inside the cockpit and attempt to make a forced landing in the Kentish countryside. He saw green fields below and started his descent. As the fields grew closer, he noticed a farm nearby and thought the film for the fields and the farm looked rather familiar. With very great dexterity, he landed his damaged plane in the field. It was the farm of a very close friend of his from his Cambridge University days. People were running to the field hoping they could help to, uh, they would be able to help the pilot. And as Roy climbed out of his aircraft, he saw his friend Roddy approaching. Roy pulled his pipe out of his pocket, searched for his matches, then grinned at Ronnie and said, Got a match on you, Ronnie? As always, Roy was nonchalant and calm in the face of danger. And as Ronnie told me later, his next words were, just thought I'd drop in for a cup of tea, Ronnie. That's that one. <laughs>